Hello and welcome to the seventh tutorial on Swift Basic series and in this part we're going to look at arrays. Arrays are useful as it allows multiple pieces of data to be grouped together, usually used when the data is similar or related to each other. And let's just open up our project and we'll show you how arrays are done in Swift. So to declare an array, there are a few ways. The simple way you can do is var, the array name, so i, equals square bracket and then inside you put your array elements you do on do six, five and one. And to access these elements you do the array name, which is I in this instance, square brackets, and then you do an index, aka this will be the first, second, third, but to access this one you don't put one, even though that's the first one. Computers start at zero, so you put zero or one or two. So I'm gonna print this out so print L N I, so I want to access 5, so I would do 1, run it, and it's access 5, and obviously if I do 2, it accesses 1. A, no, I'll just comment this out for now. Another way to do arrays in Swift is, let's do your array name, equals, square brackets again, but inside here, what we can do is, the first name, I'll just write this out and then I'll explain exactly what has been done. Surname. On first glance, you might think, oh, it's the array called array has four values. Well, in fact, it only has two values, Bruce and Wayne, whereas these here, first name, and a surname are actually the identifier. So instead of putting zero, you would put first name. Instead of putting one to access Wayne, you put a surname. So that's pretty cool. So you can actually easily assign identifiers to them. So to access it, I'm going to access Wayne. You would do, uh, sorry, you would do array name, square brackets, and in here you put surname, run it. Bear in mind, this is case sensitive, so if I do lowercase, it puts nil because technically the there isn't a value at index lowercase s and u r n a m e. So you need to make sure that you do the right case. And let's just comment this out a second. We will actually look into commenting a little more in a later tutorial. And to actually modify, actually no, we need this again. To actually modify an array element, it's extremely easy. What you do is you access the array. So array, I'm going to put first name. And you put equals. Sorry about that. You put equals and then you put what you want to change it to. But bear in mind, once a certain element is of a certain data type, so this is string, you can't ac um, assign a different type of value. So if I put eight, you'll give me an error because this is a string. But if I assign another string to it, it's A-OK -okay because it's a string data type. So I'm just gonna print this out so you can actually see that it has changed. Okay, so we have Wayne and instead of Bruce is sitting now says Batman. That's it. That is how you use arrays in Swift. Obviously, like I said, bear in mind a value with a different data type cannot be assigned uh, at a certain element because once it's being assigned this value, it has a particular data type. Then in the next tutorial, we're going to look at conditional statements. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystem.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or directly message us via YouTube. All the required links for source code will also be in the description. And as usual, thanks for watching and have a nice day.